Hey everybody, it's Billy from Spicy Ginger Soap. I am going to make a remake of um, the scent that I call Barbershop. It's called Clean and Fresh from, um, or Fresh and Clean, one of the two from um, Be Scented. I'm going to do it with red, white, and blue, which is what I did the last time. I'm going to do a little different. This is what I did last time. It was just um, like a zebra stripe. I can, and I cannot for the life of me remember if it accelerated or not. So it's pretty much like I'm doing it for the first time. So we'll see as as I do it. Hopefully not. I'm going to get the colors in first just in case it does. I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. I just made one that accelerated super quick and I'm not real happy with the design that came out. So I'm going to try to do take precautions this time. The colors that I'm using are Lapis Blue from Crafter's Choice, um, and then um, I'm using uh, Deep Rose, I think is what it's called, from um, Be Scented, and I mixed that with one that I got from eBay called Oriental Red to make like a, you know, kind of like a kind of like a deep red and um, and I've done that before I've mixed those two before and I get the color that I'm looking for and then just wait with my titanium dioxide so go ahead and get that going my titanium dioxide in this one sure it does not discolor so that's a good thing that looks good get my red in here And my blue into this one. Basically, my thought process behind the red, white, and blue is a barber's. Um, oh gosh, I don't even know what that thing's called. It's called a, a a barber's pole. I don't know. Can't remember what that thing's called. But the red, white, and blue little um, pole. The old fashioned type. So beautiful. And it's a really, really nice, um, like shaving cream cologne type smell. all looking good. Go ahead and put my fragrance oil in. And like I said, let's hope for the best. I'm wondering if I did accelerate last time and that's why I just have the stripes. Because, you know, when something does accelerate, just layering it in in stripes is pretty...
pretty much the easiest way to deal with that. We'll see. But I also, I think I, I think I actually wanted it to look like that because I wanted it to kind of look like that barber pole look with the stripes. We shall see. It doesn't seem to be accelerating right now, but you know how that goes. It can just be a couple of seconds and you can find things happening that you didn't realize or think were going to happen. this mold right here and I'm going to going to do um, I actually hadn't decided what I was going to do I think I may just do a drop swirl and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of the white in and then I'm going to drop a little of my blue and drop a little of my red. Go for our white again. I'm going to save the rest for the top. I think that's going to be really pretty. Alright, and now I'm going to layer um, a couple of lines. save that and I'm going to, once I get these other colors in there, then I'll pour the rest of that on there to um, kind of make sure I've got some definition. Because you never know when you're putting on your colors, you know, if you're going to go over the white or anything like that. My batter is behaving nicely. I'm happy with it. No major issues. This smells so good. It smells like a really good smelling man. I 
you like cologne smells or even um, shaving cream type smells you would like this one. I'm going to just there we go. Go ahead and call that good. Okay, tap it down one more time, and then I'm just going to do a nice little swirl on top, kind I always like to do. I'm boring somewhat in that way. And that'll pretty much do it for this one. Clean up my sides a little bit. We're all good. I'm happy. There's the top, finished product. I will bring you back tomorrow and we will cut this and see what it looks like inside. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll bring you back for the next video. Bye-bye. Hello. Look at what happened to my beautiful top. Not only do I have soda ash everywhere, I've got cracks. Ooh, wee. Lots of cracks. Um, I've got the main one right here. Big bad one. And then I've got some right here. This is a pretty good one too. This is a little fine one. Really big deep ones. A little bit finer. Got like really bad one on the edge here. Basically this one runs the whole length of it. And then I've also got a real thin one up here. Thin one up here. And you can see that this one continues all the way through. So I was really disappointed when I saw this, like really disappointed because I was very happy with the way this one turned out. I thought it looked really pretty. Um, I'm going to do my best to fix it. But, um, you know, that's just the way it goes. Um, I'm going to try to do it where you guys can see. But I know you guys have watched me do this before, so basically you just spray with some alcohol. And I'm just using my gloved hand because um, I find it works just as well as a paper, uh, plastic baggie. But I'm, I'm really worried about this one <laughs> because I can feel already that it's like, I don't know, just the consistency. My, this is a nice hard loaf. And it, it's, it's perfectly, I don't know, it just, something about this top feels funny when I do this. Like, I feel like I'm going to mess up my design really bad. Which, that, you know, I just love the way this top turned out, so it just breaks my heart.
soda ash is bad enough, but geez, the cracks, I'm telling you, they just kill me. And I um, had a couple questions about soda ash, actually. And soda ash for me happens. Um, I can avoid it a lot of the time by um, spraying my tops, you know, liberally. I, I do spray a lot of alcohol on the tops after I pour and before I set them aside for the night or, you know, for the cure while they... Usually mine's at night. So when I set them aside, I, I make sure they're nice and alcoholed. And then, um, you know, I always use a water discount. And that helps also. And then when I do get the unfortunate soda ash, I usually get it pretty good. Like it, like this, like it's all over the whole top. And, um, I, you know, people say you can steam it. I have never had luck steaming my um, ash off the tops of my, my soap. Never. It's just never worked. Like, it will look nice for a, um, while the steam while the steam has the top of it wet, but then the soda ash is there once it, you know, once the water evaporates. So I'm not really sure if I don't really know because I don't know if I've always wondered if soda ash had anything to do with the climate that you live in. Because I live in a really dry climate, and I feel like I get soda ash. I just learned that um, spraying with the alcohol and using the water discount really did usually work for me. Um, and so I, I religiously do that. But, um, but boy, when I get it, it is bad, and it's hard to get rid of. I have to scrub it off with a washcloth, a wet washcloth. And that's the only thing that works for me. Um, and I literally, when I say scrub, I'm like scrubbing off the, the la first layer of the soap. And it really stinks. I hate doing it. But um, that's the only way I can get rid of it. So that's my, uh, my little take on soda ash. So this is not going to be, the top's not going to look perfect. It's not going to look as beautiful as it did last night. That's for dang sure. Um, but my cracks are, you know, coming together a little bit. You know, you can fix them. It's just, it doesn't look perfect. Um, some more than others. And like the last soap that I had that cracked really bad, I'm not even going to be able to sell it. Um, because the cracks on the top... Like they, and I, I'm, I didn't use sodium lactate. I'm not using sodium lactate anymore. The last one that I had that cracked, it was, I believe, due in part to the sodium lactate. It was probably like a fragrance oil that maybe over, was an overheater anyways, maybe. I don't know. But then with the sodium lactate also, it just really did a number on my soap. And um, it's actually, I'm using it right now up in my bathroom. It smells amazing. It was the sparkling ginger. I love the way it smells. But it cracked like crazy. All right, so there's my end result, basically. As you can see, that big, huge crack, it's, there's still, the memory of it is there for sure. <laughs> but um, at least it's not a big gaping crack. And then my little ones on the side, you can see I've got them pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this um, alcohol evaporate off of here. Then I'm going to bring you guys back and we'll cut this. See what the inside looks like. I'm pretty excited to see. All right. Um, here we go. Not perfect, but it's a lot better and, um, you know, it will be okay. A lot better than what it looked like before I fixed it. So, let's go ahead. I obviously have to still get all the soda ash off of it and stuff like that, but we'll do that later on. 
I'm just going to cut a small piece off the end. Oh, wow. That's fun. Yeah, I'm liking that. It's really fun. Kind of looks like psychedelic. Wow. Look at that. That's fun. Loving this, super fun. <laughs> wow. I'm really happy with the way this one turned out. Really, really happy. I love it. So much fun. The colors, um, I just think for a soap called Barbershop, this is perfect colors. And the design is just so fun to me. Drop Swirl turned out really, really well. That soda ash on the top, you know, I can fix that later, so not really worried about that. Last full bar, so fun. And then this one, I'll go ahead and cut in half and make some samples. Let's see how that turned out. Oh, fun. Very, very fun. All right, and that will do it for, for today. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. I'll bring you back for the next video. And, oh, I wanted to show you guys because, you know, this has been curing now. And I know you guys, so look, look at all that soda ash on there. For those of you who think none of my soaps have soda ash. <laughs> look at that. And then look at all the cracks. See how bad that one did. That's... Oh gosh, look at, see all the cracks. And then this one, this is the one that I was telling you about that I can't sell. The entire thing just looks terrible. And then I've got another bar of it, but it's upstairs in my bathroom. It smells amazing, I'll tell you that much. It really does smell beautiful. But, um, oh, look at that one. Look at all those cracks breaks my heart into so that's it for today thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time